Hey guys, Adam Shaw here. Um, this weekend, Cyril game fights John Jones. Uh, Cyril's coming into the fight with a record of 11 wins and one loss in uh, MMA. Cyril's also got a Muay Thai record of 13 and 0, um, but I've never seen him fight Muay Thai. Uh, you know, he's got a well-adjusted style of Muay Thai for MMA. Um, but this is a. I just thought it'd be cool to look at one of his Muay Thai fights. This is against Yassin Bulgem. Uh, this is his last but one fight in, in Muay Thai. Um, yeah, uh, Yassin is the younger brother of Youssef, uh, who's a you know obviously a well-known and respected fighter. He's uh, he's younger but bigger. But yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to look at this one. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Not sure why they're wearing elbow pads. I think this fight's in France. Um, yeah, I, don't, I, I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure why they're wearing elbow pads. And they can still elbow. You can see Cyril very light on his feet. Uh, for, for a heavyweight especially. Clinch. A little bit messy. You'll see that when, when foreigners clinch, they tend to push each other against the ropes. Compared to if you see two ties fighting each other, they're quite happy to clinch in the middle of the ring. Um, I mean, Cyril's very, very sharp and fast. You know, uh, this clinch just is very clumsy. I can see what you're seeing. trying to do. You're seeing here. He's, so Cyril has his arms here, like so he's got him wrapped up. Yassine's trying to pull his arms down over the top of uh, Cyril's elbows. And from there, he could be able to control him a little bit. He's not going to be in any danger on the elbows or anything. But uh, I'm not sure why why Cyril's hold, like trying to pull his hands like this. Like it, So his arms are trapped up here. It doesn't really make any sense. Um, you know, it, what if he'd be throwing knees, but he's not. Um, yeah, just just clumsy. He should Cyril should have locked up his hands behind his back rather than trying to just hold on with his strength like this. It's quite fatiguing to do the way that he's doing. Okay, so just a bit of clumsy footwork there by Cyril. So you see he brings his feet together to move out the way of the kick, that's fine. But he's also gonna cross his feet here too. Now these habits like this will creep in when he's fighting in MMA, especially because he's gonna be he's gonna get tired against John Jones. It's gonna be a five round, five minute fight. Uh, five, yeah, five, five, five minute rounds. So these habits are from his natural, um, like it, just the way that he is naturally. So that's what happens when people get tired that their natural movement comes out, and this kind of thing really concerns me. Um, so vulnerable for a takedown but also if he gets hit he's, he's off balance John Jones is very creative and uh, like you know he, he'll make people think that they're safe and they're not um, so yeah just something to watch out for his clinch is just very clumsy I don't like they're just holding on to a neutral position he's not throwing any knees um, I mean the Cyril had a record of 13 and 0, but that's not vastly experienced for, for a Muay Thai guy, really. And I think maybe that's what we're seeing here. It's difficult for heavyweights to get matches in Muay Thai anyway. He's not doing a good job of scoring back either. Like, here's an example is Yassine kicks here. Now, Cyril just stands back and doesn't throw anything back. When I coach fighters, I teach them, like, you know, I really try and get, get them good at kicking straight back, uh, you know, or attacking back at least. This is a bit sloppy by Cyril. He's got some nice boxing, but just not in the right range to really land any power. I mean, this clinch just looks very, very clumsy from both of them. Okay, so you see the same thing again. Now, Cyril gets kicked here and doesn't fire back at all. Um, just stands there. Now, for example, if that was John John, if I, if I was John John's coach, I'd be like, okay, get get him like this, kick him. And then shoot for a shoot for a takedown. You know, John Jones. I I, I think we'll have stronger wrestling. Um, you know, 
Cyril was waiting for for some reason. I don't know why, but he he needs to get out of that if he you know to be, you know, a competitive scorer. I mean, I'm sure that he gets away with a lot because I mean, like he's a specimen of a human, right? Like he's he's big, he's muscular, you know, he, he fit. Um, you're seeing also a specimen, but in a different way. See, you're seeing that thing again. Look, he gets gets kicked. Then do, takes me a while to react back. You're also seeing that sloppy footwork. Look, it's just very, very sloppy with his footwork here. And that, this here. Okay, so he's going to throw an overhand. Very, very clumsy. You see how it's where his feet do? That's pretty bad, you know, uh, technique work. His fundamentals are, are a bit off. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to find a range here with the inside leg kick. But, I mean, that, like, it's just very flicky. You know, uh, if he tries to do this sort of stuff with John Jones, he's just leaving himself vulnerable to takedowns. Yassine's not punishing him the, the way that, like, you know, the, the way that he could be punished. So he's getting away with things. But still, this is, you know, not, not good technique even here right so he's having a trouble he's having trouble with himself where he's like uh, he doesn't know whether he's throwing a feint or if he's throwing a kick so what he does is do he, he does neither so you watch look so he does like a, a, this half feint half kick thing and then just throws like a very sloppy straight right after he, he, do one or the other if you're going to faint then faint if you're going to kick then kick if you get yourself in a situation like that you might as well just throw the kick um, there's, you know you're, you're leaving yourself just as vulnerable anyway I know I probably sound like I'm being a bit overcritical of Cyril here but I'm just pointing out what I can see um you know, as a, from a coach's perspective, these are the things that I'd want to really work on. Um, you know, the fact that he, you know, he does keep bringing his feet together. Uh, you know, and I'm sure here he had every intention. He might have even been fighting MMA at the same time here. But I'm sure that he had every intention of one day getting into the UFC. Um, uh, and you, you wouldn't be able to get, get away with that kind of footwork in MMA, really. Um, standing in striking range with your feet together. I mean, y Yassine, in fairness, did a good job of defending that knee. You can see here he brings up his he brings up his own leg, and then it's like he kind of tapes the the back knee away. It's a pretty good defense there. Very good. Yeah, there he he Yassine brings his knee across to defend. There, that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good vision by him, but not punishing Cyril back. Um, but you know, Cyril's getting away with a lot here. You know, he's he is a big athlete at the end of the day. You know, and uh, I'm sure that his strikes is powerful. You know, uh, he looks strong, but you never really know until you've been in there with somebody, I guess. It's funny when you get guys that look like Yassin and they're super fit. You know, how, how does this work? How is it fair? This guy's eating all the puddings and he can still fight well. Okay. Yeah, I mean, someone needs to be careful that the way that he keeps waiting. He's getting, getting hit and waiting. Um... He's not really doing a good job of neutralizing the clinch either. He, he he's getting away with things because he's so strong, but he really needs to bring his hands together to to hold his opponent strong. Yeah, if this was too, 
you, you know, two ties, you'd see them clinching in the middle of the ring. You wouldn't see all this, like, pushing over the ropes as much as you're seeing here. Um, you know, well, two more experienced strikers. When Cyril sits behind his jab and works from there, he, he does some nice work. Um, just the, it, it, I just think he looks a little bit sloppy with some of his fundamentals. See here, like trying to hold his opponent here with his arms like this, that becomes quite tiring. If he bring his hands here, it'd be a stronger body lock and less tiring. That was nice. Just a one-two low kick. But then again, it's it's not it's not working. He could. I feel like he's got all the all the skills and ability to get get Yasin out of there, and he's just not pushing. He's very content to wait. You know, there's his sloppy footwork again. I think he even knocks into his own leg there. Almost. See, see, see he nearly catches his two legs together. Very, very clumsy. And this is terrible, what he just does here. So, you see that this kick? Still goes to block it with his single forearm. Right? So, when you try and block like this, your forearm's quite quite fragile especially compared to a shin bone um like luckily for cyril he the, the shin doesn't connect with the center of his forearm but i've seen the arms get broken by doing that you, your better option is either to you know you can either block with your shin or you could try and catch the kick um you could even try and take it to the outside of your arm like rather than doing this just like you know try and take it along the whole of your arm that would be better than this. Uh, other than that, you can use two hands. So if the kick comes here, what I can do is kind of brace myself with this arm, but then bring this hand down as well. And that will sort of take some of, the, some of the power out of the kick so it's not all just on one bone. But like this is very poor. Um, you know, and uh, he's lucky that he gets away with it. And then doesn't fire back. Comes back with a jab. Now... From a judge's perspective, that's terrible. You know, um, you you know, you get into a thing where someone just kicked you across the body, you didn't block it, and then you throw a jab back at them. It's bad. You see, not it like it throws the same kick here, but unfortunately, for him, he doesn't really skip in to to throw the kick. You see. He, he kind of just threw it from where his feet were. Um, if it had just pushed in a little bit more, that kick would have landed. Yeah, yeah. Cyril doesn't look great in the clinch. You know, he's making some some little thing, little errors. Yeah, he. Yeah, like even when he tried to push the face there, I mean he he'd already got his opponent where in a position where he could neutralize the clinch, but didn't. He kept his arms apart here. If he'd have put his arms together, you know, he grabbed his hands and then just held on, that would have neutralized the clinch. But instead he holds him here and then decides that he wants to change and put his hand across his face, but doesn't really do that very well either. Um I think you know, looking at Cyril, I know he's got a really good reputation as being a good striker. But seeing him in a striking match, you can see that, that some of the clumsiness that he's been able to get away with. Maybe, it, you know, it's just that heavyweight um, MMA striking isn't, you know, uh, isn't where, where people think that it is. You know, where... Uh, Yeah, I mean, in general, heavyweights get away with a lot more uh, clumsiness, you know, and sometimes they even just look more clumsy because they're so big. Even like Tyson Fury, who's, you know, arguably, you know, the best heavyweight boxer of all time, he, he could be. Um, even he looks very clumsy, but it's, you know, he's also nearly seven foot tall. If you compare the technique of Cyril to... 
you know, uh, I don't know, like a decent 70 kilo fighter, you'd see that, like, you know, they, they have to be a little bit better with technique. Still can punch you hard just from here, right? <laughs> like, just do that and it'd hurt. So, you know, technique's not, not so important. What happened here? So I'm just going to put it back. I know, I know it can probably be annoying. Okay. Oh, it's just messy. So a bit of a headbutt there. Yeah, I mean... Cyril pushing up with his head a little bit. Uh, I think that they've, you know, I've gone back to corner and the corners have told them that it's fight time now. <laughs> so they're both stepping up a little bit but looking really clumsy doing it. When Cyril actually sits back on his boxing work and then just sets it, you know, lets his kicks go here and there, he actually does really nice work. I mean, okay. Uh, I'm not going to pause it every time that I see really bad footwork because I'm sure it's annoying to watch. But just keep it, keep an eye on his feet yourself, and you'll see there are a lot of times where he's bringing his feet together and stuff, and it, it does look messy. Cyril is starting to take over in this round, though. Um, you know, he, he, when he does let his hands go, he's really nice. But you know, like here, he throws a right hand, but then gets kicked. So Yassin gets the you know, would get a better score. Um, Yassin managed to get a good turn on him there. You know th these are things to look out for in Muay Thai rules. But yeah, when when Sil actually just lets his hands go a little bit and throw put some low kicks on, he actually does really nice work. Will he be able to do that against John Jones? I don't think so. I think, you know, John Jones has got good stand-up, but don't forget, he's also, a, you know, a bit of an elite wrestler, really. Um, what's happening here? Oh, his, his mouth guard came out. I mean, yeah, I mean, Cyril has proved that he, you know, he's a good striker, you know, and he, he's beat some good guys in the UFC and stuff, but there is a difference between striking in MMA and striking in striking, you know. Like, all this all this amount of time that he keeps clinching and just holding him, it just looks, you know, it, it's not a good look for me. Nice elbow. Ooh, but he gets tagged himself. Now, why did that happen? He just opens up just a little bit too much. He kind of has his hand, his right hand floating a little bit. And look at the position of his right hand here. You know, it was a... Uh, even when you're trying to hit hard, you don't need to bring your hand all the way down here to try and hit hard. You know, you can throw a hard shot from here. Oh, it's, a, it's an entertaining uh, heavyweight Muay Thai fight, right? Like, the, you, it's not often that you'll see them working this much. When I think about, like, you know, the, the reputation that Cyril has of being, like, a, you know, top Muay Thai guy or top kickboxer for a heavyweight, you know, whatever. Mm, but you compare him to, like, the guys from, you know, back in the day. You're back in Mardi. You know, you got like Remy Bonyaski, Ernesto Hoost, Alexei Ignishov. You got those kind of guys that looked a lot more polished and didn't have this clumsy footwork. They, you know, they put their strikes together a lot better, in my opinion. Um, and there wasn't as much like shutdown time that you get with Cyril. Cyril's, like, it's like he's waiting for a while and then he'll do a little bit of something, but he, he spends a long time waiting and. 
the fact that it doesn't fire back as from from a Muay Thai perspective isn't good. Um, the times he's getting hit and not throwing anything back, that that's not good uh, under Muay Thai. Now under MMA, it's different. But standing and eating shots from anybody isn't good, you know. Uh, I mean, John Jones said there's always a threat of the of the uh, of the wrestling coming at you as well. Um, the only thing from John Jones' side that I'd be concerned about is that he's not a natural not a natural heavyweight, and like you, you know, uh, all that muscle that he's had to put on, you know, over the last two years or whatever it is, you know, it's going to come at the cost of oxygen. Um, so John Jones is going to have to be careful with, with you know, with his activity level. I think I think Conor McGregor is going to have a similar problem when he comes back as well. Uh, you know, he's already said that he's going to fight Michael Chandler at welterweight. So you know, it looks like Conor doesn't believe that he can get down to lightweight very easy. Yeah, I mean, Cyril's got the right idea. You know, uh, you can see that he, he lifts up his his left knee here to try and catch his opponent. But if you can't hit a, a, a guy with a body of Yassine, if you can't hit him in a body with a knee, <laughs> you know, there's a problem. There's a great big body there. That's a nice kick from Cyril. Now, if Yassine could catch that and do that to him, John Jones can for sure. I oh, know, I know, need to pay for premium. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but like getting that that leg caught, throwing a low kick. Um, in Muay Thai, you won't really see people catching low kicks like that, but in MMA, you will. And if Yassine can catch it with a boxing glove on, I'm pretty sure John Jones could catch on with an MMA glove on. Um, see again. The kick still lands, so it still does damage. He's getting it caught on the way back down. Um, but still, you know, it, 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 some things are a concern for me. If I was a serial game fan, I'm completely neutral with a... Cyril Gain and John Jones, you know, um, I don't, it's not a fight that I'm emotionally invested in. The the way that he just threw that low kick is a way that, you know, I, I think is a, it's a good way of kicking. Some people try and load up into a low kick a little bit too much, whereas all a low kick really needs to be is your shin bone bouncing off their thigh. Um, so yeah, the way that he throws it here is, you know, it's nice. Oh, just that. Because it's, you know, once you've been hit by three or four of those, then it really starts to take effect. And then, you know, it's depending on your opponent, if you're throwing that kick, then you can start to load up when their leg's starting to hurt. I do like the step in knee that he's doing as well, when it, you know, when it, when it lands. I just think that he stands with his feet just a little bit too close, so it's easy for uh, Yassine to push him off. There's that little bad habit creeping in again. You see, he gets kicked, and then nothing. He returns with a jab and an inside low kick, but neither are a good score. It's difficult for me to to score and and well, to to commentate and judge over the same fight at the same time. Um, you know, I'm not really paying attention to who's scoring what, but. You know, I'm just, you know, uh, critiquing uh, Cyril Gain a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure who, who, you know, who's winning. I know that, that Cyril does win, spoilers. But, uh, you know, I'm looking at clean Muay Thai techniques. I haven't seen too many. But he has taken control of the ring the whole time. Uh, you know, he has been the one on the front foot a lot. Which does make a difference in uh, the judge's eyes. <laughs> yeah. 
if you're seeing things that he's up, I can kind of understand it from a Muay Thai scoring perspective. Uh, you know, this is Muay Thai rules, not not kickboxing. So, you know, I can understand what, where he's coming from if if that's what he thinks. Um, but there's a difference between a, a, a Muay Thai game and a fight, right? Like so. You know, if you think of Muay Thai as a game, scoring points, and then the difference of that with fighting, like, okay, well, who's getting more damage? Who's who's landing more? Who looks better? Which one would you rather be at the end of that round? That That's what you kind of need to think about. That's as, as simple as scoring needs to be sometimes. Okay, well, the winner is whoever you'd rather be at the end of that round. You know, not too much to it, really. It's a nice elbow by your scene. Keep seeing this, this clumsy footwork by Cyril. He really needs to be careful. I mean, Cyril does look fresh going into this round. He doesn't look too tired. But, you know... Uh, five three minute rounds is 15 minutes five five minutes round it is you know that's 25 minutes that's a long that's a long time to be fighting so what what uh yasin did there tape in the back leg you don't see many people doing it but when you do it properly it can be effective Uh, and also, Cyril's defence here to the left kick, you'll see he uses his lead arm to kind of push the kick away. Now, that worked that time. But the other times when uh, Yassine was a little bit closer to him and the range was a little bit shorter, it didn't work. It ended up being that he just took the kick on the arm. Um, so it's not that's not a great defence, uh, in my opinion. So this is good work from Cyril when he when he's doing that kind of stuff. There's just not enough of it, in my opinion. Um, you know, it, you know, he's, if if this Cyril goes in against John Jones, I, I think he's in trouble. Also here, um, it does this like pushing elbow here. Now that didn't work because he's he's kind of stepped on the outside of his opponent's foot. Um, I'll go back. I oh, know because I've done the same thing myself before. So his lead leg steps on the outside of his opponent, you see here, and then he tries to throw that shot and it, it brings him around the outside. That, If you're going to go for that shot and it, you want it to go right through the middle of that guard, you just need to come right through the middle and that's it. You don't need to be stepping on the outside. So He's got a lot of the right ideas, but his fundamentals just aren't supporting it. That, it, it you know, from what I've seen in this fight, um, you know, he, he, when he actually when he's not trying to throw too hard and he's just throwing out some nice some nice short boxing combinations and low kicks, he's doing well. You know, and then he could throw in the the odd like higher kick if he wanted to. Um, and when he's doing that, he's doing well. Very clumsy. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why he, let, why he lifted up his back foot there. Just trying to overreach, maybe. You know, he's... Uh, I'll just show you that again. Just throwing that, he's, a sa he's just hitting his opponent for the sake of hitting him. Uh, what he should have done is moved his front foot in a little bit. And then he would have been in a better range for that shot. I know that he's not trying to hit his opponent hard, but you know, if your hands aren't by your face, then they're out, and you, you know you can leave himself vulnerable to get tagged for no reason. 
you know, why risk it? You know, uh, try and, you know, t t make make things count. Is it a feint or is it a strike? Don't, don't try and do both things at the same time. Again, that kick not being answered for. I don't think I've seen him throw a body kick from the right side. Um, did he try and hit him with a backhand? <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, so, you know, this is like a handbag, kind of, I call it like handbag boxing. He, he like swings and then swings like that, like, like you know, an old lady boxing, you know, uh, whatever, you know, uh, it is what it is. Like I said, he's clumsy, uh, but he gets away with it because they've, you know, look at him, right? Like, he don't have to be an expert to know that he probably hits pretty hard. Okay, All right, well, they both think they won. Um, you know, so you can see, you know, I think Cyril, a capable Muay Thai fighter, but I don't think, you know, he's a... I, I don't, he's got a really, he's got a high reputation, and I think it's probably above where he is. From what I've seen as a in this fight, people really raise Muay Thai and I, like, yeah, maybe it's good for for MMA for especially a heavyweight, but it's very clumsy and you know, do I think he's gonna really pose any threat to John Jones? Yeah, potentially. Um, you know, he's a natural heavyweight at the end of the day, um, which does make a difference. You know, John Jones is gonna be carrying some unnatural muscle for his body frame um, you know that'll make a difference uh, just the bad habits concern me from Cyril Gaines size um, you know he's a uh, the fact that he that he does keep catching himself with his feet together um, the fact that sometimes he's not responding to strikes straight away he's very very uh, he's willing to wait and that, that can be a problem, um, especially in MMA when you've got not only the striking to think about, you've also got the threat to takedowns and whatever else. Uh, John Jones is very creative and, uh, you know, you never know, you're going to get a jab or he's going to throw an up elbow to your face or what? what is it? Could, could it be an up kick that, like, he knocked out Vito Balfour with? You know, that, that he's got so much stuff that he can do. Um, I'm sure it'll be a good fight, you know, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing it, uh, but from the the Cyril gain that I've seen in this fight, which was his, I think the, the one last but one of his pro Muay Thai fights, um, I, I've got to say I'm not particularly impressed. Uh, but you know, the, the, he's had a few years since then, and I'm sure he's grown as an athlete and a fighter. And but yeah, we'll see. Okay, what do you guys think? Uh, do you think that he's going to beat John Jones or do you think John Jones takes it? Um, and also, if you've got any videos or anything that you want me to look at, fight, fights or even your fights or training videos, just put them in the comments and, uh, and, you know, I'm more than happy to make one of these videos for you. But yeah, let's speak soon, guys.